Goldwyn. See Sharon Dace for all of your insurance needs, life, health, auto or business. It's Dace Insurance, 4070 Springfield in Sullivan. Condemender and Dace will tip it up at center circle. Ball is up, tip controlled by Condelbender as he got the advantage, got up first. And the Knights will have the advantage as they have the basketball first and a full man-to-man -man defense by the Eagles. Hoats around the screen, gets it off to Phillips, left the circle, pulls up from three-point range, a little too strong. Offensive rebound by Scorny, up and in. And there we talked about one of the Eagles' problems tonight, even boards out the offensive boards. They didn't do it first time down, the Knights take the lead. Thornsbury head to Creek near sideline. In the corner out of a trap, gets rid of it to Thornsbury. Again, still on the sideline in the middle of Witt to Strasser. Right corner on the wing outside to Witt. Knights that 2-3 zone. Thornsbury to Witt. Right side Strasser on the wing looking inside. Dace at the high post. Around to Thornsbury. Left wing. Dace cuts across in the corner and then lost it out of bounds. The pass kind of short hopped him and off his hands out of bounds. He goes turn it over. Well, the Eagles cannot afford one of their patented slow starts in this one if Borgia comes out blasting. Dale off in the wing to Phillip. Condemander working inside, trying to post up Witt. Phillip off the screen, beats uh, Strasser to the baseline, throws it in the lane to Scorny off the glass. It won't drop, and Dace up for the rebound for the Eagles. Head to Thornsbury, quickly down court, down low to Creek inside. From behind, Dill comes around and is called for the foul. Herbie Dale picks up his first personal, the team's first. Sullivan will inbound under their own basket, down 2-0, 6.48 to go here early in the first quarter. It'll be Witt to inbound the ball on the baseline left side. Takes the pass in the corner, still hasn't gone anywhere. Ball comes inside the creek, strip loose, he gets it back in a crowd, and a foul called on Phillip, and two free throws coming for Jerry Creek. Phillip will pick up his first, the team's second very quickly here, and to the free throw line, as you mentioned, Jerry Creek for two shots. So David Witt took about uh, 4.8 of the allotted five seconds to get that ball in. Got it in deep to Creek and able to come up with the ball. It was knocked away, free throw in and out, no good by Jerry. Well, that's something David Witt has done quite a bit of. He really takes a good look at it before he ever gets the ball inbounds. Jerry's eyes the bucket on the second one. It's up and good. He goes on the scoreboard now. Borgia leads it 2-1. And, of course, as always, the Knights will attack quickly. Phillip on the wing right side. Outside three gets a screen from Condelbender. Switches back to Condelbender. A three on the way. Now the corner, no good. Dace with the rebound. Outlet to Witt ahead. Two straws are up the left side. Holds up on the dribble. And the Knights come down man-to-man -man this time down. And Dace uh, on the perimeter. Got to get him down low. He goes adjusting to the change in defenses this time. Dace still on the wing, not looking. He was trying to direct traffic, and Law took his eye off the ball, went through it to him, and it was out of bounds. Well, I'm, I'm concerned or a little confused as to why the Eagles are confused uh, offensively here out of that set. You're in the championship game. You'd think they'd know their offenses by now. On the, there's boards around the old 1-4 wheel. Scornia lost it off the dribble. Knights turn over as Creek comes up with it. Witt quickly to Strasser. Off the wing, left side on the dribble. Again, the Knights, now they come down. Whoa, boxing one. Strasser penetrates the baseline, blocked by Scornia. Rebound to the Knights. And then Scornia came off his man, down on the block, the shot. Hotz from 15, no good. Dace with the rebound. Well, definitely, uh, at least to this point, Borgia not shooting near like they did last night, of course. Dace for three, he knocks it home. Dace trailing the play, got the ball from Witt, top of the key, and buried the three. He goes up 4-2. Condelbender off the dribble. At the high post, left side, hands it off to Phillip. He'll bring it around the right side, hands off to Dill. Turns eyes the bucket, top of the key. Bounce pass down low, and they're going to call Jerry Creek with the reach-in foul on Hotz. Jerry Creek with his first, the team's first, boards it to inbound into their own basket. On the left side, Dill the trigger man. That three big for Derek Dace because he has not shot the ball well from outside here in this tournament. Actually, the last two or three games of the regular season, didn't shoot the ball real well from outside. Boards again, goes to that 1-4 uh, low and the old wheel play. And that's one of the most basic and longest. Uh, there's a three by Dill. 
Got the ball in the left corner off the screen. And instead of bringing it back around the dribble, he stepped over the screen and buried a three-pointer. Knights back up 5-4, long down court pass, tracked down by Creek, and he is bumped to the baseline by Scornia, and the foul called. Three team fouls now on Borges. Scornia gets called for the block as Creek took it baseline and was forced out of bounds. Sullivan will inbound with 4.47 to go in the first quarter. Witt quickly inbounds this time to Strasser, lobbing into Dace. Nice pass. Dace with a catch off the glass and in. Just a real nice entry pass by Justin Strasser. Dace with five. Eagles up 6-5. Dill off the dribble. Hands off to Kindlebender. Fakes back to the right in the lane. High post. Leans in around. Witt. Shot won't fall. They're going to call David with the push. As Kindlebender stepped to the right to get around uh, David, he kept the body on him as the shot went up and two free throws coming for Ben Kindlebender. David Witt with his first personal, the team's second. Kindlebender to go to the line, and it looks like at least early here, Bob, the officiating to be very close. Going to call things very tight here in the early going. Kindlebender's first one up and good. We're tied at six, 4.29 to go, first quarter of play. Ben, the 6'3 junior, buys the bucket, fires and hits the second one. Knights up by one. And Borgia will set up in that 1 2 2 half court trap. Strasser all with the dribble through the trap to Witt to Thornsbury. Spots up, fakes the three. Try to go down low to Creek. And luckily for the Eagles, Hoats couldn't grab it. It goes out of bounds. Boy, too bad he didn't fake that one instead of trying to deliver down, down low and hit Dace at the elbow. He was wide open as the defense had all collapsed inside. Into Dace on the bounce pass in lane. Steps through off the glass and he hits it. And as we've said a few times this year, boy, if they can keep Derek down that low block from the high post to the low post, then 15 feet of the basket or closer, there's not a lot of people around here going to stop him one-on-one. -on -one. And every time he's gotten in a low block down there, he's scored tonight so far. Again, Borges goes back to the wheel. There's a three by Dill, and Herbie knocks it in. Well, I think... Uh the game plan of the Eagles is to lay back a little bit defensively, not do the pressure type defense that Owensville attempted last night. And they may want the Herbie Dill, they may want to force him to beat them tonight. Thornsbury with a three on the way, left wing. It comes off, no good. Dace with the rebound. Up, oh, no good. Tipped up again, no good. Tipped up again, no good. Rebound tipped out to Thornsbury. And Eagles reset. Dace, uh, three opportunities, could not get it to drop in, but he. Kept it alive, and Thornsbury comes up with the Eagles reset against the 2-3 zone. Strasser off the right wing, penetrates up high from 15. No good. He's knocked to the floor on the shot, and uh, it's going to go against Dill or Phillip. Either one of them is going to pick up their second, and it's going to go against Phillip, looks like, Bobby. Shaking so, the ball game for Sullivan, Richie Clover, and uh, sitting down is going to be Jeff Thornsbury. Nathan Phillip picks up his second personal for Borgia. 14 fouls, and Sullivan's Justin Strasser to the line for two shots. First one good. Borgia leads it now 10-9, 3.16 to go. First quarter of action. Knights at 23-3 and three on the year coming into this one. Second one by Justin Good. We're tied up at 10. Dill quickly brings it up the floor. You have to hustle back. You can never relax against Borgia. Three by Kindlebender, no good. And Clover with the rebound, fouled by Hoats. Josh Hoach picks up his first and five team fouls now on Borgia, and we still have 3-10 to go here in the first quarter. And that's, you know, a lot of times Borgia will come down, as we said, pop up the quick shot, and they'll get offensive rebounds off of it because everybody hustles down the floor, and the defense is not yet set up. They're not in position. The offensive man is moving, coming down the floor. He's got the advantage and uh, breaks free for an offensive rebound. That time, though, Clover picked up his man and kept him off the boards and drew the foul. That uh, looks like Borgia, at least on that possession, Bobby is really trying to turn the dial up defensively and get a steal or two to get their spark going. Ball into Dace on the baseline, back in the corner to Witt. Looking inside of Dace, but uh, elected not to throw it in there. Probably a good idea as there was good defense. Strasser a three on the way. Good off the left wing. Justin Strasser puts Eagles up 13-10. Well, the, at least here nearly going, no listless effort by the Eagles to this point. There's Phillip around the screen, left side. He hits the three. We're tied up at 13. And they, they seem to like that place out there. They'll take the ball and the dribble left corner and use the man. There's a steal by uh, Dill, 
off a pass by Strasser, and the ball taken in, scoring Herbie Dill. Well, let's see how the Eagles respond. That's the first steal that's led directly to a basket by Borgia. In that 1-2-2, two, two, full half-court trap, ball to Strasser, left side. Back left side to Witt, and, and you know, as quick as these Borgia kids are with anticipation, no pass out front is safe against that 1-2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. Passes. It's going the other way. It's over three, We're dialing long distance. They're going to run up a lot of charges here before <laughs> this one's over with. Condelman to right corner brings it up on the dribble. Out on top. Again, angles left side. He'll hand off to Phillip. Phillip fakes the three in the lane. Will penetrate across the lane. Hands off to Dill around the screen. A long three by Herbie. Bangs off no good. Clover goes to get the rebound for the Eagles. He'll bring it up with a dribble. He'll stop. Look for Dace top of the key. Off to Clover, left wing, a three on the way, off the rim, no good. Fight for the rebound, Borgia has it. Borgia with just their fourth rebound in the ball game. Inside and from behind, a foul called on Clover, reaching around Josh Holtz. Well, Richie Clover's gonna have his hands full with Josh Holtz. That's his first on Richie and the team's third. 1.16 to go here in the opening quarter. And the Eagles up 16-15 over Borgia. Clover out, Thornsbury in for the Eagles. Dyson is in the ball game as sitting down as Kent Scornia for the Knights. Borgia basketball off the inbound and on top to Hotes. Around the wing to Dill, right side. Down low, Dyson works inside, steps around the man off the bottom of the rim, no good on the shot. And Creek with the rebound for the Eagles. Ball. David Witt brings it up. Borgia stays 2-3 zone. Thornsbury left side to Witt. Looks to the Eagle bench to get the play. Off to Thornsbury. Left wing back in the middle to Witt. To Dace on the wing right side in the right corner to Strasser. Creek shaping up down low. Had position. And they throw it away. A bad pass by Justin Strasser. Should have used the bounce pass. Tried the lob. Eagles throw it away for the fourth turnover. And uh, no, no, they're going to call a foul on the floor on Thornsbury as Dill went by him on the drive. Thornsbury picks up his first, the team's fourth, with 39 seconds to go. Borgia will inbound under the own basket once again. And checking back in the ball game is Richie Clover. And Justin Strasser takes a seat, coming in for Borgia. Jason Reinberg, the freshman, number 54, and going to give Josh Holtz a breather. And Holtz, the spark plug of the Borgia Knights uh, in the ball games we've seen of the past, scoreless here in the early going. Dill to inbound. Finally gets in the corner, right side to Phillip. On the wing to Dill, looking for Reinberg shaping up inside against Clover. Dill on the dribble on top. Hands off on the wing to Phillip. He'll fire up the three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Dill with the offensive rebound. In the lane down low, Reinberg, a five-footer, is up and good. Well, the Eagles did not screen off as well on that possession, and it cost them two points. Now they've got Reinberg, the freshman, on the point of that one, two, two. In the middle of the dace. Down low, Clover, nice catch, shot up from four, rolls around, no good, drops off, and the Knights with the rebound. Borch leads it 17-16, Dill along, one up the front of the rim, no good, tipped out, They're taken by Witt, and the buzzer blows. In the one quarter of the score, Borch is 17, Sullivan 16. Money market certificates, individual retirement accounts, passbook savings accounts, just and it's just right for your budget. 5 Selby Street in Sullivan. Stop in today, won't you? To the much where they've been of late, but uh, the Borgia Knights, they're hitting that 30-some percent you talked about as they connected on only 5 of 16 for 31 percent. But they still have the lead at 30, 17-16. Whoops. Eagles have the ball to start the quarter. Knights again with that 2-3 zone defense. Out on top. Uh, nope. Back to the box and one. Inside the creek, right block, turn, shoots over Reinberg and nails it from eight feet. Boy, a tough shot, fadeaway, baseline jumper, but nothing but uh, rim and net, I guess. Yeah, it got a little bit of rim there. We'll have to mention that. Eagles up now again, 18-17. Dill off the dribble, left corner, bounce pass off to Phillip, gets a screen from Dill. Nathan with the left hand dribble, right hand dribble, excuse me. Round right side, hands off to Condelbender, backing in on with the free throw line, gets rid of it to Dill. Out high in the circle, running 17, put her up and good. Herbie Dill averages 10 a game and is a good shooter. Well, the Eagles have made up their mind. If they're going to get beat, it's going to be him that's going to have to beat them, I think. Dace in the free throw circle from 17. He knocks it home. Dace uh, up high against that 1-2-2. Two, two. A good place to get the ball against that 1-2-2, two, two, especially when you've got a 6-7 guy to throw it to. 
from the left elbow. Kondelbender's shot is off no good. Clover saves the rebound but stepped on the baseline. Got the ball and was a little off balance. Had to kind of take a little step uh, on a pivot to gather himself before he made the pass and stepped on the baseline. Coates and Scornia back in as Dyson and Reinberg take a seat. Get some good work off the bench in those two. Boards the ball on the right baseline. Dill will inbound it. Ball comes into Phillip right corner outside. Three on top to Hotes. Back to Dill. Quickly inside to Phillip. Turnaround shot over Creek. In good. A tough shot that time by Phillip. Creek with good defense. Phillip just knocked it in. Now 1-2-2 two, two, full court pressure. Ball in the middle of the day. Seagulls break it. Day springs it up. And as he tries to go between the legs, Dill with the steal and a foul by Thornsbury. Now Derek a little too fancy on that trip down. No need to really go between the legs at all. And as he put it between the, the, his legs, he put it right in Herbie Dill's face. And Dill said, thank you. And then uh, in turn, Bobby, the foul uh, on the reach in is going to go against Sullivan's Jeff Thornsbury, his second, the team's fifth. In the ball game for Borgia Todd Offerman, number 14, has been Condelmender takes a seat. For rest, he's not quite gotten off the mark yet here tonight. Phillip, left side, gets a screen from Scornia. Creek, a nice job on the switch to get over it. Out on top, two Hotes way out right side. Back over to Scornia. Fakes the drive, Dace out on him, goes by him in the lane. A little running scoop layup, no good. And on the shot, a foul call on Richie Clover. Trying to reach around from the side and get the block. Clover picks up the foul. Clover with his second personal foul, and that's something the Eagles cannot afford to do tonight is get in foul trouble and have to go deep into their bench. But nonetheless, now Thornsbury and Clover, both with two, 16 fouls on the Eagles. Justin Strasser comes in the ball game replacing Clover. Kent Scorney at the line for two shots for the Knights. They lead at 21-20. Just about two minutes gone here in the second quarter. Scorney is first one on the way. In and out, no good. Had half that one written down. Yeah, just about ready to say in and good, but it spun out. Knights is a team of 67% free throw shooting bunches. Scornia knocks in the second one. Scornia 73% normally on the free throw line. In the backcourt, went against the full court pressure to Thornsbury. Cross court, right side to Strasser. Off the dribble, across half court, left side on the lob pass. On the baseline from 17, Jerry Creek throws up an air ball. Rebound to Borgia. Up on the wing, left side. Dill picks up the dribble. Being pressured by Witt, gets rid of it. And Thornsbury from behind reaches around Offerman. Didn't get all the way out there. Reached around the, the arm and the foul is called. Well, and the problem with that is it's three now on Thornsbury. you got to bring Clover back in, and he's got two. And the way we've seen him play of late, Bobby, he really likes to block uh, shots. He'll pick up his third before half. 5.39 to go here in this first half, 22-20. And Eagles over the limits. So It'll be a one and one now for the Knights for the rest of the half. On all common fouls, Alphaman's free throw no good, and Dace there to sweep it away. Eagles on the run at the left sideline. Boards it, of course, hustling back on defense. Witt at the left elbow in the lane as he penetrates, goes up, and is fouled. And we'll get two free throws. I believe they're going to give that one to Josh Hotes. Exactly right. And Hotes now with his second personal. It was in the act of shooting for the Eagles. So Sullivan's David Witt to go to the charity stripe for two shots. You know, and really, and you have to do that uh, against boards in a 2-3 zone. You've got to penetrate against that zone from time to time. If for nothing else, to make them respect your ability to do that. Well, and David Witt trying to do it from the right spot, so to speak, out at the point area as he can penetrate down the lane. And if he doesn't have something, he's got two sides of the floor to look to. First free throw uh, went through. Second one, good. And we're tied at 22. Again, the Knights quickly on the attack. They do not give you any respite whatsoever defensively as they get down the floor, set up offense quickly. Oates. Bounce pass and a block uh, underneath, and a shot is up. And there you mentioned, I think they may give this one to Creek, though, underneath to Phillip. And no, it's going to be Clover. It's going to be Clover, and Clover jumped up as soon as he caught the ball. It looked like he came from somewhere around the free throw line. And Clover not using his head too much on that play, Bobby. He's got two fouls. He's a valuable player to this team, and yet he's going for the block shot from behind. And and he picks up his third personal foul. You know, Phillip had gotten inside of uh, Creek that time, and uh, Clover trying to help out. First free throw by Phillip, good. 
So Clover with three, Thornsbury with three. Clover staying in there right now. And I'm surprised about that. Looks like they would need to get somebody into the ball game. Phillips second one in and out, no good. Dace up for the rebound for the Eagles. Hands it off to Witt. I'm sure the coaching staff knows that's three on Richie. Richie inside to Dace on the baseline, leans in, misses the four-footer. Rebound fought for underneath, and they're going to call a reach-in foul on Derek Dace underneath as he fouled Offerman. Awful lot of reaching going on in this one so far, and Sullivan's Derek Dace is now guilty of it himself with his first personal. The team over the limit and to the free throw line at the other end will be Todd Offerman of the Borgia Knights. Phillip out, Condlebender back in. 23-22, Knights lead it by one, 5-0-1 to go. First half, the Eagles digging themselves a hole foul-wise. Offerman's free throw halfway down, spun out, and Dace clears it off for the Eagles. So the Eagles are catching breaks there as the Knights not shooting well from the charity stripe so far. But, of course, the fouls may come back to haunt them for long. Clover can't handle a pass inside. Ball loose, and the Knights knock it out of bounds. Alfman was on the baseline when he grabbed the basketball. It'll be Sullivan ball. Well, there's two players sitting on the Sullivan bench that have contributed of late that could maybe spell Clover, and that's been Chad Strasser and Anson Baker. And Chad Strasser will check in for Sullivan. And Clover finally going to get out of there. You know, you've got to make that substitution. You don't win the ball game at halftime. Off the inbound play, lobbing way out on top to Justin Strasser. Witt comes back out around right side to get the pass. Back to Justin, left of the key. Backs out with the dribble over to Witt. Looks to the bench to get the instructions. Knights. Man-to-man -man defensively. Justin Strasser off the penetration. No, the basket will not count. Going to call a foul on the floor. And I believe it's going to go against Todd Offerman of the Knights. That'll be his first, the team's seventh. So now to the free throw line for the Eagles. First attempt at the one and one will be Justin Strasser. Phillip and uh, Dill come back in as Klee Camp and Offerman take a seat. So the Knights again going uh, two and three deep early off that bench to give starters uh, uh, early breather. Strasser's first free throw good. He gets his bonus, ties it up at 23. You know, and that's something a lot of people may not realize, but I know the coaching staff understands that, uh, you know, you don't pay dividends with it, maybe a lot of substitutions at this point, but late in the ball game, you definitely will in terms of conditioning. Second free throw spun out, no good. We remain tied at 23. Off to Condelbender. His three is up and good. He uh, was not sharp early. And this but, is where the Eagles are going to be hurt, Bobby, as they lose a ball handler by bringing Chad Strasser into the contest. Yeah, they've got Thornsbury and uh, Clover, both two guys that can handle the ball a little bit. On the bench, Justin Strasser, nice job dribbling through the defense. Off the dace, he's double teamed back to Strasser for three. Left side, and he knocks it in. And Justin Strasser answers right back. Clover will check back in a ball game. No, honey, it's a no. And there's a basket by Herbie Dill for the Knights. Two-pointer. And again, full court pressure. Ball comes into Dace. Now Borgia will drop back out of it. With 3.35 to go here in the first half. Borgia up 28-26. Strasser, Justin Strasser with the basketball. Back over on the right side to Witt. Back to Justin Strasser. Bounce pass trying to go in the lane. It was off the foot of Condelmender. A dangerous pass from well outside the three-point arc. Well, they're bringing Anson Baker in for ball handling against the press and also then to put him on the perimeter offensively because Chad Strasser kind of out of his element there having to play on the perimeter. Ball comes into Justin Strasser. Hands it back to David Witt. Knight stay with that 2-3 zone. Back in the middle of Witt on top. Fakes the pass right. Witt a three. Top of the key. Spins out. No good. Anson Baker rebounds. Puts it up and in. Anson Baker paying some dividends right off the bench with a putback. Ties it up at 28. They've got Baker on Condelbender. He'll have his hands full there. A long three by Phillip off the right wing, and he drops it in. Justin Strasser not, with, with not bad defense, but uh, with these Knights, if they're within two steps at three-point line, you've got to be on them because yep. everybody can hit the three. And the lane, a nice pass. Dace left it up short. Tried to feather that one up there with a little touch. He left it short. Knights with the rebound. And a foul on Jerry, no, on Justin Strasser, they're going to say, on the left wing. Strasser now picks up his first personal. 
And uh, once again, Borgia quickly up the floor and caught the Eagles unorganized defensively. And as a result now, it looks like Nathan Phillip will go to the line for another one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And then they're going to call the referee back over to, to make sure who that foul was on. They're conferring with Ron Beaker, the uh, keeping the official book. And the foul court now again is officially put up all against Justin Strasser. And a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. One and bonus for Nathan Phillip. 6-1 junior, first free throw good. And he's had trouble from the line last couple of ball games we've seen the Knights. Yeah, so far here this evening, however, he's hit on two of three attempts. It's his bonus shot. Make it three of four. Coming up big in the championship game. That's what you what you want out of your players. 33-28, five-point boards lead. Maybe their biggest of the ball game. I believe you're exactly right. In the middle, trying to get the ball to Dace. Hustles after it, but Hoax comes out with it. Eagles turn over for the seventh time. We have a foul on uh, Justin Strasser again in the front court. Awful lot of whistles being blown here this evening so far uh, to this point. And, and so far, Bobby, in the first half, Sullivan really not forcing the action against that pressure in the half court. But now it looks like they feel like they need to for some reason, and it's led to a turnover and a foul. Holtz at the line for the one-on-one. -one, drops in the first one, gets his bonus. The Knights who had struggled a bit from the charity stripe in the two games here in the tournament as a team overall. Uh, doing much better here now in the second quarter. Hoach, second one in and out, no good. Dace comes away with the board for the Eagles. Boards up by six, 37-28. Dace top of the key, Justin Strasser, right wing. Down low to Creek, right block out of a double team back in the corner. But stepping in front of the pass was uh, Dill. Anticipated that as uh, Creek only had one place to go, and that was back in the corner to Justin Strasser. Dill read it and picked off the pass. Eagles eighth turnover. Hoach works free around the screen. Oh, almost a travel. Able to keep it down on the floor, though. Penetration by Phillip. Ball knocked away. Creek hustles after it. Gathers it in. Eagles have a two-on-one break. Jerry Creek takes it in, lays it up and good. Well, a nice job by Jerry Creek. As hard as he was going to the other end, you didn't really know what was going to happen, but he gained composure and balance and put it in. Eagles then four, 34, 30, a minute 40 to go first half. That's only the second turnover of the ball game so far for the Knights. Phillip out on top. Goes to Connell Bender, spots up for the three left wing, and he bangs it in. That's a couple in this quarter after a been pretty quiet in the first quarter. He's uh, come alive here after a little time on the bench. Justin Strasser off the dribble. Then he had the ball stripped away. He goes on the break. Knights on the break. No, they're going to call Condal Bender for the travel. And, oh, I don't know about that call. Well, the only thing I didn't couldn't see very good from here, Bob, was maybe, and I don't know that that's what happened, but possibly he could have gotten that ball hooked on his hip just a little bit uh, as he was making the move down the lane, and that's maybe what the official saw, and as a result, the travel. Chad Strasser back in the ball game for the Eagles, sitting down is Justin Strasser. And the ball knocked out of bounds by the Knights on the near sideline. Coach Schaefer got up telling the Eagles, you got to come and meet the pass, guys. You can't stand there and wait for it against Borgia. Knights up 37-30. Ball in a Dace left baseline. Turn around 18-footer. No good. And the rebound to the Knights. Dace has gone cold since the early going. And not a very good shot by Derek Dace on that possession. Got to get him the ball back down low. He was effective there early in the ball game. And since uh, that early stretch first quarter, he has not gotten the ball down the block where he can use that height advantage. Dill, the Knights working the clock down now. 40 seconds, they've spread the floor, gone the layup game. Maybe looking for a backdoor cut layup. Uh, if nothing else, they'll work the clock down. Scorny away out left side lines. We're down to 30 seconds in the half. 37, 30, Knights up by seven. So far, their biggest lead of the ball game. Scorny far left side, down to 20 seconds on the clock. Uses the dribble, pass out to Condelbender near the half court line. Off the dribble, around a screen, back out to Phillip with 12 seconds. Now to Dill, the Knights will attack with 10. Dill between the legs, dribble and lane, forces one up over Witt, and he hits it. Tough shot by Herbie Dill. Got it to go. Dace at half court at the buzzer. Oh, yes. Lassie he hit it! Yes, sir. -y. Oh, a little bit of the night. Deja magic. vu from last oh, night. Deja vu all over again, yeah. The Knights hit what the buzzer against Owensville at halftime on a bank in from half court. Derek Dace returns the favor. 
from the left side of the floor, and he banked it in, and the Eagles needed that one. That cuts. Money market certificates, individual retirement accounts, passbook savings accounts, just a few of the many different savings plans which are available at American Federal Savings and Loan in Sullivan. He carries over here to start this third quarter, and we'll also see how the Knights regroup. Well, Bobby, an opponent as big as the Borgia Knights for the Eagles, the second half is going to be the fouls as they have both Thornsbury and Clover with three and Justin Strasser with two. They were whistled for 11 first-half fouls to seven for the Knights, and uh, so far, Borgia, Josh Hoach, and Nathan Phillip with two each. Borgia ball to start the second half, and again, they'll go back that one for uh, wheel offense. A little bit of a variation there as Condimenter pops out on top. They get a pass off to Hoach's right wing. We have a whistle and a foul away from the ball. They're going to call a offensive foul on Scornia, trying to shape up on Dace. Uh, away from the ball and had a hand back there and kind of held Derek to keep him from getting around him. Scornia works very hard to post up inside. Uh, you know, and the thing is, you may get called for that one time a game, and while the opponent will get called for it two or three, so a good move on his part. And the Eagles against the half-court trap, get the ball down to the creek, and he's up and the foul by Scornia. So two quick ones on Kent and Jerry Creek to the free throw line for two shots. Well, Scorny is a, a shot blocker, so to speak, for the Borgi, Borgia, <laughs> Borgi, Borgia Knights. And uh, he went up to try to block yet another shot by Jerry Creek, but this time he's called for the foul, so he's got three now. And Jerry at the line for two free throws for the Eagles. Trying to get in that Borgia six-point lead. First one is good. 39-34, just underway here in this third quarter of play. Just 24 seconds off the clock. Second one by Creek, off the back of the rim, bounces high in the lane. Condelbender up big for the Knights for the rebound. Just over the outstretched fingertips of Derek Day, he's close to another offensive rebound for Derek there. Herbie Deal had a good first half. Hands off to Condelbender, wheels it left side, hands off to Phillip. Brings it back to the right side of the dribble. Hands off to Dill on the wing. Fakes the shot. Guarded by Thornsbury. Jeff's got three fouls. Ball inside to Hoats. Turn shoots over Creek off the glass. Tipped out by Day. Saved by Witt. And quickly hit Thornsbury on the wing. He'll fire up a three. Way off the mark. No good. And a rebound taken down by the Knights. Off to Dill. Three-pointer left corner. Short. Long rebound out to Hoats. Steps around Dace and draws the foul inside from Derrick. As a good move by Josh Hoats. To get around Derek, a little underhanded scoop layup. Derek trying to reach back and got the arm uh, down kind of parallel to the floor and hoats up into his arm and draws the foul. Well, once again, offensive rebounding leads to the uh, basket or a foul in most cases. In this case, for the Knights, it's going to put uh, Josh Hoats at the line as Derek Dace picks up his second personal. The team's first here in the second hand. Dyson in, Scorny out for the Knights. The Hoats first free throw good. And as I mentioned there in the break, the Eagles didn't give up a whole lot of offensive rebounds in that first half. But the Knights come out strong on the boards here to start the third quarter. And they get two free throws from Josh Holtz. Eagles against that full court pressure. Ball in the middle of Dace to Thornsbury up the left sideline. Ahead to Creek in the corner. Back to Thornsbury on top. Dace leans in for the three. Short, way short. Rebound to the Knights. Eagles with the quick shots. Not able to drop him in. Boards up by 7, 41, 34. Dyson way out left wing, out on top. Hoats in the free throw circle, stops. Off to Dill, spots up for the three, and he knocks it in. Big game tonight for Herbie Dill for the Knights. Thornsbury played off of him a little bit, and Herbie's knocking him in. Justin Strasser ahead to Thornsbury, left wing down low into the creek over Phillip, off the glass and in. Well, uh, Herbie Dill has uh, really risen to the occasion here as he has stepped up his offensive output with 17 points. Phillip around the screen from Condomender off to Condomender. Three is up and good. Whit got around the screen, got out on him, but Ben at 6-3 shooting over the 5-10. David Witt got the three-pointer down. The Eagles break the pressure up the left sideline in the middle to Witt. In the lane, Day stops off the dribble, turns, shoots, 12-footer, spins out, no good. And the Knights with the rebound. And once again, the Eagles loafing back, give up an easy basket. Eagles not picking up the defensive. They want an early timeout. We'll take a break with the score. St. Francis, Borgia, 49, and Sullivan, 36. 
When you deposit money at the Bank of Sullivan, they in turn reinvest it right back in our community, supporting projects, businesses that will create jobs and generate future growth. You may know them as that bank down the street, but they're really much, much more. Next time you pass by the Bank of Sullivan. 13 at 49-36, and the forcing Marshall Schaefer Cutter to take the timeout. Well, that was something that the Eagles were able to avoid. And here at the beginning of the third quarter, Borges outscored Sullivan 10-3 to open up that 13-point margin. So the momentum the Eagles have built up with that three-pointer at the end of the half uh, quickly went out the window. There's a Strasser three on the way. Good! Off the left wing. Justin Strasser answers back. A big basket there for the Eagles. Touch lead to 10 with five minutes to go third quarter. And a ball into Condal Bender. He's fouled by Justin Strasser. Justin picks up his third personal foul. And Condal Bender just took him into the lane, posted up, and Justin stayed behind him. Pass came in. He reached around and hugged him and forced the official to make the call. And Justin can't score from the bench, and that's where he's going to be as Anton Baker checks back into it. So Strasser with three, Thornsbury three, Clover with three. Anson Baker in. He'll have the job of trying to stop Ben Condal Bender. Across to Dyson in the lane. David Witt hustling back to knock the ball away and get the steal. Throws it ahead. Dace was not expecting it. The Eagles turn it right back over. There's a three by Dill. No good this time. Tipped up. Hurst keeps it away. Probably back in the back and keeping it away out again. And finally they're going to call a foul on Phillip up over the back. And the Eagles dodge the bullet there. Is, uh, I think in that case, Derek Dace was coming back to screen for David Witt uh, and relieve some of that pressure. David thinking he was wanting the pass, kicked it on up ahead, and looks like uh, the foul on Nathan Phillip of Borgia, his third, the team's second. Hoats takes a seat, though, as Phillip stays in. Down court to Creek, through his hands, he picks it up to the baseline. Nice spin in the lane, turn around, shut the glass, won't fall, Dace rebounds, up and in. Got to get Derek back down the block and around the basket. Well, a rare offensive putback in this one for Sullivan. Phillip down low over Creek, puts it up and in. In the middle of the day, they beat the pressure. Lobbing down low to Creek on the block, up off the glass, and Jerry converts. And he goes back on the 8 at 51, 43, down to four minutes. Dill, top of the key, nobody on him. Won't fall again, offensive rebound. Phillip up from behind, Dace is called for the foul. Well, Derek Dace uh, swatted that ball around, away, and there was very little to no contact. Now, the official's trying to talk to him about it, and, and uh, I'm not sure what he's wanting to say. Dace looks like he's cut somewhere. And they're bringing him over to the bench. Coach Schaefer got her up talking to the official. Chad Strasser will check in as they're going to try and get... Uh, Derek taking care of. He's got to come out of the ball game. The new rules this year with the uh, with a cut, you have to. Well, now wasn't it last night one of the Borgia players had a cut on his leg and they came over and wiped it off and let him stay in the contest. Checking in also Matt Lattimore for the Eagles is uh, Jerry Chad Strasser and Matt Lattimore a sophomore out there on the floor along with Witt and Clover. So the Eagles uh, the foul problems begin to catch up with them. Free throw by Phillip was good. That's three now on Dace. So. Uh, Justin Strasser, Dace, Clover, and Thornsbury all with three fouls apiece. Phillips second free throw, good. Knights back up by 11, 54, 43. Excuse me, there's tied now by 10 now, 53, 33. Witt in the front court. Dill cuts him off, off to Clover. To the baseline from eight feet. Richie Clover knocks one home. Well, it's just too bad that Clover can't stay out of foul trouble as he's looked very good offensively for the Eagles tonight. Condom Bender on the baseline to Phillip, guarded by Lattimore. Puts it on the floor. Matt with a nice job defensively. Phillip hands off Walk. and, oh, traveling. Caught on Scornia. Good check back in the ball game on the break and got the pass from Phillip but got the extra step or two and turned it over. He goes within eight right now. Boards a 1-2-2. Two, two, full court pressure. Lob down to Lattimore. Nice catch. Kept him traveling. He didn't have an advantage. If he'd tried to take a dribble, he probably would have traveled. Baker off to Chad Strasser, a long outside shot, won't fall. And the Knights take the rebound. Down out rebounding the Eagles in this half so far, 7-3. to three. Several of those on the offensive boards. Scorny out on top to Dill between the legs in the lane. Condleman are posting up. Baker turns, shoots from six in the lane and hits it. And Baker just about a six-foot tall. 
And uh, maybe 5'11 or so. Kyle Leonard, 6'3, shot over him. And Lane Lattimore, an off balance shot, won't drop. Clover, offensive rebound, saves into Chad Strasser off the glass. It drops in. So the Eagles uh, still in within eight. Dill down low. Phillip inside, up and a foul called on Lattimore and put Phillip at the line for two. Lattimore with his first, the team's fourth here in the second half, and going to the charity stripe once again, Nathan Phillip, and that's uh, been a place he's been quite a bit here this evening. Derek Dace with the bandage wrapped all the way around his head like a headband. Checks back in the ball game. Chad Strasser, Lattimore out. Creek comes back in. Got cut on the, uh, he's talking to Kent Scarney about it. Kind of smiling. He's got a kind of a gauze patch on the right side of his head. Phillips free throw bounces through. And then they have to taper gauze all the way around it. Looks like he's uh, been in the Civil War or something out there. Second free throw by Phillip is good. Phillip now is connected on seven of eight from the charity stripe. And a 10 point board to lead. Ball in the backcourt. Baker to Witt, left side. In the left corner to Jerry Creek. A baseline drive around Scorny inside on Holtz. Shot is up. Hoach's call for the foul, I believe, and it'll be Jerry Creek to the free throw line for two for the Eagles. And Josh Hoach does pick up his third personal foul, and going to the line is Bobby mentioned Sullivan's Jerry Creek. David Witt takes a seat. Justin Strasser comes in for Sullivan. No, no, he stays. Excuse me, Witt stays in. Baker takes a seat. Creek to shoot two here. Eagles down by 10, 54-47. 2.28 on the clock here at third quarter. Creek's free throw bounds off the right side. No good. Jerry so far tonight just two of five from the charity stripe. And uh, usually a much better free throw shooter than that. Second one is up and good. It's 50% on three of six. Eagles now within nine. Dill in the front court. Eagles back picking up defensively this time. And Lane Condelbender over Strasser. A 10-footer is good. Condelbender can score deep. He can score outside. He's but tough to stop. That's exactly right. The Borgia Knights have shown a lot of uh, dexterity here from both inside and outside from certain players. Dace a three on the way short from the right wing and two Knights fighting for the ball. Eagles wanted to travel, but Condelbender comes out with the ball for the Knights in the front court. Two Phillip fakes the three in the circle, trying to go down low. Justin Strasser gets a hand on it and knocks it out of bounds. So Derek right back in the ball game, trying to fire up a quick three and get, maybe trying to draw the Eagles back in it. Couldn't convert. He's been, like I said, he has not shot the ball well from the outside last three or four ball games. And he just, we keep harping on it, but you got to get him back down on the block. Off the inbound. Out on top, Scornia. To Phillip, he'll fire a three, and he nothing but net from about 21 feet. Well, he's in his zone, as they say, because he was way outside on that one. And the Knights back up now by 14 at 62-48. And there's a steal by Borgia. Dill off to Condelbender, pulls up from 10. No good. Rebound, though, to Holtz. Up, no good. And Dace with the rebound for the Eagles. And we have it carrying. Dace carrying the basketball. Turned it over to backcourt. Eagles' mistakes starting to hurt him now. Knights up by 14 and a minute 29 to go third quarter. Ball off to Condelbender. From outside, a three on the way. There it is. Now the Knights starting to get in that shooting zone they were in last night against Owensville. And boy, I tell you what, when they get it going like that, turn out the lights because the party's over. Condelbender now with 18 points. Ten of those here in the third quarter. Thornsbury outside. Left side, Justin Strasser off the dribble, penetrates. Knives to the lane, hard off the glass, no good. Fight for the rebound. Condelbender comes up with it. Eagles cannot hit. And we have a traveling in the backcourt. On Condelbender, Eagles stayed back and kept up good pressure after he got the rebound. Baker back in, Strasser out for the Eagles, Justin Strasser. Sullivan ball down the baseline right side. In the corner, Clover, three on the way, off the rim, no good, and all wide underneath the board for the rebound. Dill, nice catch, he had to Hoats driving, layup, no good, but they're gonna call Clover with the push on the shot, and Hoats will get two free throws. And Clover picks up his fourth. That'll be team foul number five on Sullivan. And they're just beating Sullivan down the floor. Whip back in. Uh, Clover's going to come out. Had a nice pass from Herbie Dill. He caught a pass coming down on the run. Just 
caught it and just redirected it basically over to Holtz on the layup attempt as Josh hits the first free throw. Josh has been relatively quiet offensively here this evening. Just one field goal. However, three free throws to go along with it, to give him five. Now four free throws. Hits them both. 67-48. Boards up with Chad Strasser comes in. Jerry Creek will take a seat. 19-point boards a lead right now. Down to 50 seconds to go, third quarter. 28 points so far in the quarter for the Knights. Just 15 for the Eagles. In the corner, left side, Derek Dace. Off to Baker, right wing. On top, Witt to Thornsbury. In the corner, left side, Dace to Thornsbury. On top, Witt. Now to Thornsbury, left wing. Between the circles to Witt to Baker, right wing. Fakes the shot to the baseline. Eight-footer, over the basket. Rebound taken down by Borgia. And Dill in the backcourt will hold it up with 20 seconds. Off the dribble between the legs in the lane. Pump fake. Gets uh, Thornsbury off his feet. Hits the 10-footer. Dill with a nice pump fake. Thornsbury went for it. And when he went past, nobody there. And Dill knocks it in from 10. Dace a long three uh, for the buzzer off the front of the rim. No good. Dill with a rebound. A half-court shot. The buzzer off the glass. No good. In the three quarters, Borgia leads Sullivan 69 to 48. Windshield woes got you down. Now's the time to clear up your community. Our community auto in this night. Borgia faithful are starting to make some noise. And well, they should. Well, unofficially, I have Borgia with 10 three pointers in this contest. Sullivan with six themselves. There's a three on the way, right corner by, by uh, Clover off the side of the backboard. Borgia with the rebound. Off to Phillip in the lane, tries to go across to Kyle Benry does, puts on the floor to the baseline, in from four, off the glass, spins out, no good, gets his own rebound, up and in. And the Knights right now, they can feel it. Down low, there's Clover, a 10-footer good by Richie Clover. 71-50, Boards is still with a 21-point lead. Deal outside to Phillip, right wing. It's a screen from Condelbender. Hands back to Ben off the pick and roll. Puts it on the floor. Knights will be patient offensively for the most part, I would think. He's going to work some clock time. Hotes gets a screen to the baseline. He'll stop, pop over Dace, an air ball. Rebound taken down by Creek for the Eagles. Witt quickly up the floor, left wing, down the lane. Had the ball stripped loose. Herbie Dill comes out with it in the front court. Pulls up left elbow, 15-footer, bounces around a couple times, drops out. Dace comes out with the board for the Eagles. There will bring it up with a dribble. Between the legs, left of the circle, outside, three stops, gives it to Justin Strasser, puts on the floor, and uh, falls down. And they're going to give a foul on Josh Hotes. Hotes will pick up his fourth personal foul. That'll be team foul number five on the night. So Sullivan will inbound on the sideline. Chad Strasser in, David Witt out of the ball game for Sullivan. Also Jerry Creek out as uh, Thornsbury's in. Reinberg comes in for Borgia, the freshman. And Josh Hoach sits down and gets a good hand from the Borgia fans. Days for the Eagles after 12 first half points, just two here in the second half. And the Eagles have the ball. Justin Strasser left side of the baseline over Reinberg. And Reinberg with the foul. On the shot by Justin Strasser, and he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Ryan, excuse me, Reinberg picks up his first personal. Team foul number five. And as Bobby mentioned, going to the free throw line for the Eagles, Justin Strasser. And a break here while Richie Clover reties his shoestrings. The two shot opportunity for Justin. 71 50, boards in control. 626 to go in the ballgame. First one good. Justin uh, Senior. Second one good. Also Jeff Thornsbury, David Witt, Benji, uh, excuse me, Chad Strasser, also a senior. The Eagles will graduate four this year. There's a three by Phillip off the back of the rim. Long rebound out taken down by Thornsbury for the Eagles. Long down court pass to Clover on the wing to the baseline left side. Forces one up off the back of the rim, bounces out. Rebound taken down by Scorny, and then he kicks it ahead. Dives after no the travel. Foul. And a charging foul called on Phillip as he knocked down Clover. So the Eagles get the ball. Probably should have got it before that, but uh, 
Nathan Phillip with four personal fouls now. So the Eagles get the ball, of course, the foul on Phillip. Dace, uh, right side, a three on the way, again short. Boards with a rebound. Nobody in there for offensive rebounding for the Eagles. Everything from the outside right now. 71-52. Borgia in control. Scornia. We have a whistle and a foul called away from the ball. It's going to be called on Derek Dace. Well, Dace was trying to fight through a screen, and it wasn't only a screen by number 54, Reinberg of Borgia. It was also a double screen, so to speak, by his own teammate, Chad Strasser, who was not opening up and allowing him through the pick. That's four on Derek Dace. Ball comes into Phillip to Condelbender to Reinberg. Round to Dill. Circles back to the middle of the floor. Off to Phillip looking inside for Condelbender. Gets a screen. Back to Condelbender on the wing left side in the lane to Reinberg. Hook shot over Chad Strasser. Good. Nice looking jump, jump hook inside. Justin Strasser a drive down the lane. Try to feather it up and won't drop for the Eagles in the rebound taken down by Borgia. Justin Strasser, little to no luck on those penetrating moves here this evening. Dill out on top, guarded by Thornsbury, off to Phillip, bounce pass down low, Condelbender. He'll turn, Sheely's up short, Reinberg up off the offensive rebound, is fouled on the shot, will go to the free throw line. And again, the Knights, uh, the offensive boards coming to the forefront here in the second half as they have pounded the Eagles on the boards. Jeff Thornsbury picks up his fourth foul, and the Eagles, I believe, are going to call a timeout. We'll take a break with the scoreboard. Value. Compare for yourself. The more you shop, the more you save. For total value, it's shop and save. Shop and save on the South Service Road in Sullivan. Jason, excuse me, uh, be Jason Reinberg, 54, the freshman at the free throw line for the Knights as we come back to action. Boards leads at 73-52, 5.02 to go here in the ball game. Reinberg eyes the basket, first one up and good. Reinberg now with three points coming off the bench. Second one on the way by Jason, also good. And it's a 23-point Borgia lead. Justin Strasser in the ball game. Kyle Martin also in now for the Eagles, along with uh, Brent Eubanks and uh, Matt Lattimore. There's Justin Strasser for a three. Up and good. Falling away. An off-balance three-point shot by Strasser drops through. Strasser now is 17. 75-55. Borgia up by... 20 and a traveling violation on the freshman Reinberg trying to make a move on the left wing around the screen. 4.34 to go in the ball game. Several folks heading for the exits here already. As the Knights have it pretty much in control right now. Martin brings it up in the lane to Lattimore. Turns, shoots off the back of the rim. Bounces out. Dace rebound reverse layup up and good by Derek Dace for the Eagles. Dace with his 14th point, just four here in the second half. Scorney on the wing, left side. One dribble, hands to Phillip. Across to Reinberg, right wing in the lane. Condiment wheels through. At the elbow, hands back to Reinberg on the wing. Off to Scornia. Out on top to Phillip. Puts it on the floor, guarded there by Lattimore. Picks it up, goes to Dill. Knocked away by Kyle Martin. He's got the steal. Takes it into the layup and hits it. Al Martin with the steal in the basket. He goes now within 16 at 75 59. And they'll bring it the length of the floor. He goes a little pressure in the backcourt. And token pressure right now. Phillip brings up the right hand dribble guarded by Lattimore. Across half court to Scornia. Out to Phillip. Knights will work the delay game now. Scornia gets it back left side to Condelbender. Right a circle. Back to Phillip. Out across right side to Herbie Dill. Backdoor cut underneath Scornia. Stops and hits it. Scornia with five points now. That's what you want of that uh, delay game here at this point in the ball game. A little backdoor cut every now and then. Justin Strasser, a three on the way. Here, left side off no good. Fight for the rebound. Borgia has it. Down court quickly to Holtz in the lane. Goes by Kyle Martin. Lays it up and in. Nice move by Josh Holtz. 79-59, Strasser through the lane again, too hard off the glass, rebound, ripped down by Scornia. Justin has just not had any luck on those moves, so hard moves to the 
to the basket. He's just a little too strong off the move on the glass. Condo Bender around uh, his man is shot up no good. A foul on the rebound called on the Eagles, I believe, on Brent Newbanks. Newbanks picks up his first. Sullivan seventh. So to the free throw line for the one and one will be Josh Hoach. Justin Strasser takes a seat. Rich Clover in the ball game. Anson Baker will check in for the Eagles. And uh, sitting down is going to be Newbanks, it looks like. 79-59, Eagles uh, got within 16 just a bit ago with the board tool quickly back down the floor with a couple of layups and back up by 20, now 21 as Hoach hits the free throw and gets his bonus. Eighty fifty nine. The Knights can score some points, folks. No doubt about it. Second one by Josh is good. Kyle Martin brings it up for the Eagles. Bounce pass to Dace. A three on the way. Right side. In and out. No good. Knights with the rebound. Off the Dill. Up the court. Between the circle. Stops. Goes to Nathan Phillip out left wing. Puts it on the floor of the baseline. Lattimore cuts him off. Hesitation. Gives it off in the lane. Hoach drives. Lays it up and in. Nice penetration by uh, Phillip. And dishes back to Hoach. Cutting down the lane for the easy two. Well, after being shut out that first half, Hoach with 12 here in the second half. 83-59. Dace to the elbow from 14. Right side. It won't fall. Rebound inside of Clover. Fadeaway shot won't drop. Rebound again. Fought for. And Dace comes out with it on the baseline. And stepped out of bounds. Woods, Strasser, and Thornsbury all come in along with Chad Strasser. Herbie Dill comes out of the ball game as Clee Camp comes in. Dill, it's a very well deserved round of applause to play Japan. Looking he's probably been the big difference in this ball game tonight with his good shooting early on the ball game. Now they kind of open things up for most of the nights. And we have a double dribble violation on Clay Camp in the front court. The Eagles uh, get the ball off the turnover. Ten in the ball game now for Borgia. Now to a minute 36. Borgia in control. They're going to go on to the next round of state playoffs. The boys and girls both. Go on down to Flat River on Wednesday to take on the boys and, boys and girls from Lutheran South. There's Justin Strasser. That time he got the shot to drop off the penetration move. Strasser with 19 leading the way for the Eagles. Out on top, Phillip on the dribble, gets rid of it to Scornia. A minute 15 in the ball game. Schaefer Carter letting his seniors ride this one out. All four of his seniors along with uh, Derek Dace out there right now. Far right side, Clay Camp brings it back to the middle of Phillip left side. At the elbow, tries to pass around to Scornia. Dace with the uh, steal. And a foul in the backcourt on Hotz. And Hotz picks up number five. With 58 seconds to go in this one, it's all academic, of course, as Borgia holds a commanding 83-61 advantage. And uh, we have a timeout called, I do believe, by the Eagles. And we'll Chevrolet. Here's a 1993 4x4 work truck, only $15,257. They also have the 1993 4x4 three-quarter ton extended cab. Only $21,436. Here's a 1993 S10 4x4 Blazer. Was priced at over $23,000. Now just $20,264. Don't miss out. Stop by Meyer Chevrolet. Buick, Olds, Geo, 355 West Springfield and Sullivan. It's Meyer Chevrolet. Derek Dace misses the friend of the 101. Borgia gets the rebound. A jump ball call. The possession arrow favors Borgia. He goes with full court pressure. Witt back in the ball game. Thornsbury. No, the no substitution. I thought they made some substitutions at the timeout, but I guess not. Ball down low to David Gus, who's in the ball game, and we have a technical foul call on Chad Strasser as he came by trying to block the shot and slap the backboard. And the ball was up on the cylinder, and that's a technical foul. Now you can't do that in high school basketball. The official, uh, irregardless of what the score and the time, needs to make that call, as he did. Ben Condell been at the line to shoot the free throws for the Knights. It'll be two. First one up and good. 
Don't forget, we'll be naming a Washington Pizza player of the game at the end of this contest as we have throughout the week here at Owensville. Second one by Ben. Bounces off the back of the rim, no good, and Borge will have the ball on the far sideline with 48 seconds to go in the ball game. Knights lead at 84-61. You know, Bobby, I'm a little surprised. Okay, I'm a little surprised he's still got two or three starters out on the floor at this point, not because he's trying to run it up, but I'd sure hate to feel like I get an injury to one of my key players in the final 40 seconds of a ball game before the sectional play and be up by 23 at the time it happens. Ball off the inbound, loose in the backcourt. Boards, it comes up with a good hustle by David Gus. Swoboda in the ball game off to Clay Camp, and his 17-footer is good. Now Ben Condelbender and Kent Scorny is still out there for the Knights. Justin Strasser down the lane, a driving shot, no good. Fight for the rebound, out of bounds off of Chad Strasser. And he boards the ball with 27 seconds to go. And we have uh, substitutions coming in for both teams. Matt Lattimore and for Sullivan. And he'll replace Derek Dace as Derek takes a seat. Jeff Dickhouse comes in. Ben Condelbender's out of the ball game. Adam Bossler comes in, number 52 for Borgia. And Ken Scorney will take a seat. Number 51, Brent Newbanks comes in. As Chad Strasser takes a seat. Also, Anson Baker in as Thornsbury's out of the ball game. And Kyle Martin comes in. David Witt will take a seat. So Justin Strasser will stay out on the floor. Now Rich Clover will come in as Justin Strasser will take a seat. So Marshall getting all of his seniors out of the ball game now. And we're still waiting. Witt comes back in. And checking out will be Lattimore. I don't I think somebody's going for a record here, possibly. Could very well be. Ball finally comes in to Swoboda on the near sideline. And back to Bossler to Swoboda. Do the, on the dribble. Eagles try to knock the ball loose. They do. Shoveled ahead by Baker to Martin. Behind the back dribble to Witt. Layup up no good. Clover coming in on the rebound. Tied up with a jump ball. Possession arrow favors Sullivan with 12 seconds on the clock. And the ball will come in on the baseline right side. David Whittle toss it in. Gives it into Baker. Shot up off the glass. No good. Tipped up and a foul called on Newbanks up over the back. And we'll come down with 10 seconds on the clock. And Jeff Newbanks with his second personal. Eighty-six, sixty-one. currently our score with 10 ticks on the clock and the Knights will advance as we sit in the state playoffs on Wednesday they'll take on Lutheran South Lattimore in, now Witt will come out of the ball game at the line, Dickhouse with a one and bonus eyes the bucket, fires, hits gets his bonus shot 87-61. And the second one is also at the back of the rim. Rebound taken down by Kyle Martin for the Eagles. Off the dribble in the front court. Dan throws it away. The cheerleaders better get out of there. Try to get ahead to Lattimore. Cutting up on the baseline left side and heaved it out of bounds. With five seconds, ball in the backcourt to Swoboda. Ed McLaughlin is in there. Back to Swoboda. And the buzzer sounds. St. Francis Borgia with the win. And the Knights advance uh, in the state sectionals on Wednesday night as the Borgia boys and girls take the sweep here in this Class 3A district tournament tonight. Girls win the uh, girls and boys. We'll come back and wrap this one up after these messages. People have a problem with the official street ball for just $4.99. The regulation size street ball is a $20 retail value and a portion of the proceeds goes to the NCAA Scholarship Fund. Pizza Hut Pizza is the official pizza of the... ...Monday through Friday. It's as quick as going in and filling your plate. Pizza Hut of Sullivan, located on the... ...Good people, students and adults, and help and work so hard this week to make the tournament the success that it really was. We've had a great week around here. Had two good ball games tonight. I'll give this microphone to Becky Oates to present the play. I'd like to uh, congratulate both teams, the men on the teams for, two, for a good game this evening. It's with a pleasure that I present this second place player to the Sullivan Eagles.
turns out to be the final game of the season for the Sullivan Eagles. They placed three players in double figures, led by Justin Strasser with 19, followed by Derek Day, 16, and Jerry Creek with 11. As a team, Marshall Schaefer Cutter squad 22 of 58 from the field for 38%, and they hit on 10 of 15 from the charity stripe. For the district champion, Borgia Knights, they were paced by five, I'm sorry, four players in double figures, led by Ben Condelbenner with 21, uh, Nathan Phillip with 20, Herbie Dill 19, and Josh Hoates with 12. As a team, Dave Nyer squad 27 of 52 from the field for 52%, and they hit on 21 of 28 from the free throw line. In rebounding, uh, Borgia 33, Sullivan uh, 29. Turnovers unofficially, Borgia 12, Sullivan 14. Our Washington Pizza player of the game for this contest is Herbie Dill, the Borgia Knights. KT 101 FM Sports, the Pizza Hut at 1905 East 5th Street in Washington. We're donating a medium-sized pizza in Herbie's name at Tri-County Birthright, number 8 Village Center in Eureka. KT 101 FM Sports, the Pizza Hut of Washington. Congratulate Herbie Dill on being selected our Washington Pizza Hut player of the game. Well, it's been an exciting week and a good week. Some good basketball. Uh, we want to thank uh, all the, the teams and the, uh, the coaches uh, for their help uh, throughout this tournament and throughout the season. Appreciate the coaches, both boys and girls, talking to us for our sports talk programs uh, throughout the year once again. I always appreciate their fine help. Always willing to take some time to play after ball games, win or lose. Well, thank you. Thank you. Back to state throughout the course of the year. Uh, Chris Lee, of course, helping us out tonight. Billy Kitt from time to time. And Todd Fitt from time to week for most of the season. Uh, we appreciate all that help and hard work uh, keeping things going back to the studios. I want to thank Andy Collins for helping me out this year. I had a broadcast and a lot of fun. And also Bob Cosgrove uh, filling in from time to time. Appreciate Bob's help again this year. And as always, it's been a, uh, it's been a good season uh, for us. Uh, we've uh, seen some great ball games, uh, some big victories by a lot of teams. And we want to wish the uh, Borgia Lady Knights and the Borgia Knights the best of luck if they continue on down the road on Wednesday night in the Class 3A state sectional playoffs. Well, Bob, I'd like to thank you and KTUI for giving me an opportunity this year to make a fool of myself on the air. Enjoyed it. <laughs> Uh, a lot easier making the calls from up here than it's been in the past down on the bench. And uh, uh, I just really had a good time this year. Learned a lot from up here. And uh, look forward to maybe having an opportunity down the road.